Hi, and welcome to Ganto. Today, we're going to take an existing Microsoft project schedule and prepare two views for an upcoming presentation. First, I'm going to save my project schedule as a .xml file by clicking File, Save as, Ganto.xml. Then, I'm going to load the XML file into Ganto by clicking File, then Load, Ganto.xml. You can see on the left-hand side of the screen, we now have the task list. On the right-hand side, we have the Gantt chart. And on the top, we have the toolbar, and below it, we have the command ribbon. The first view we're going to present is a summary view of the overall project schedule. First, I'm going to hide the task list, and you can see the task names now show up on the left-hand side of each task. Next, I'm going to roll up the schedule to show only the first-level summary bars. Then, I'm going to automatically have Ganto pick a font size and calendar width to fit the project. It's not exactly how I want it, so now I'm going to pan here to adjust it a little. You can see here that Ganto automatically pulls the milestones out of your schedule and orders them along the top of the view. Okay, now I'm going to pick a color template. I'm presenting good news today, so I'm going to pick a lively color scheme. Okay, maybe not that lively. How about this one? I'm also going to change the shape to a more rounded look instead of half round. Okay, that's it for view number one. That was easy. We'll cover saving views in just a minute. For the next view, I'm going to drill down into a summary task, in this case, video production. To do this, I'm going to right-click and expand the task. Now I'm going to use the font size slider on the right here to adjust the view until I find the right trade-off between font size and enough context on the screen. Now I'm going to make a few changes to the data. By double-clicking on the task, you open the task editing menu. In this menu, you can change task names, durations, the start and end dates, as well as manipulate the tree by indenting, inserting new tasks, and moving tasks up and down. For now, I'm going to shorten the names of each of these tasks so that they're not so wordy for the presentation. Video beta goes to video, shop demo reel goes to demo, produce video goes to production. Now, I also know that the script detail is taking longer than I expected, so I'll push that out here. And as you can see, the constraints activate and the dependent tasks move out. And now we're good to go. Last, I want to save this view so I can refer to it later, and I can do this in two ways. The first way is to export an image by clicking this button here on the ribbon. This prompts me for the file location. I'll just save it here on the desktop. And now I can drop that schedule image into a PowerPoint presentation later. Next, I'm going to save this in the Ganto schedule format. To do this, I click File, then Save As. Again, I'll pick my desktop and label this production.gxml. Done. This is kind of neat, because it not only saves the data, but also the view information. So if I clear this schedule, then open the production.gxml, I'm back right where I left off. Okay, so that's the tour of Ganto. Please leave us your feedback by clicking the link on the webpage. Ciao!